Hi guys, Cherry and Oscar here to talk to you and show you all about the safety protocols when you're in the school building for in-person learning. First off, students and faculty must wear masks while on school property. Upon arrival, there are designated entrances for students to use. As they enter the building, students will disinfect their hands at sanitizing stations. When in the hallways, traffic will flow in the same direction. While walking, students must distance themselves and keep their masks on. Follow the signs on the floor and walls. Water fountains can only be used for filling up water bottles, and every student should bring their own. Students must also sanitize before entering and leaving a classroom. They should remain at their desks until dismissed and wipe down their desk before leaving. Students should wash their hands before and after using the bathroom as well, and masks must stay on. Eight semesters later. Please screen your student daily before coming to school. If your student or anyone else in your household are experiencing one or more of the symptoms listed on your screen, then please follow the directions shown. If you are at school and feel sick, the health room has a specific door to enter. You enter the door right behind the business office and see Mr. Lay before going into health room A or B. Free breakfast and lunch are available. Breakfast will be available for grab and go until 9.45, Monday and Tuesday, and Thursday and Friday at specific entrances. The plan is for students to grab breakfast, head directly to class, eat and clean up for the start of class. Free lunch will be ordered on an app on ClassLink. Lunch will be delivered to advisory each day. Lunch orders can be canceled up to 30 minutes prior to advisory. You are welcome to bring your own lunch from home. All classroom and spaces will have seating charts. This is to help with contact tracing. This is a routine to help keep students informed and safe if there is a need to quarantine. Advisory is required for all students. There will be important information and updates each day. We will be using FlexiSchedge to schedule student support time with individual teachers from 2.45 to 3.50. There will be more information and advisory about this process. There is no open campus during advisory. No lockers use is allowed during semester two. If you have a lunch period at the start or end of the day, you do not need to report until your first class.